All right, I have my monitor earbud. Feeling like fluke now, because I got, uh, wearing an earbud. Uh, so I got like a cable. It's my, it's my leash, you know? Haha, -ha, get it? Because, because fluke made a video about me, and now I have like a ton of new subscribers. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, anyway, enough flexing. What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and I have a Instagram and a Twitter and a lot of other social media, and I posted a few pics of my Polly and Tracker. Okay, story time. I went to a drive-in movie, and if you know anything about drive-in movies, you'll know that they use your car's FM stereo to give you the sound for the movie. So you just sit in your car and the speakers of the movie are your car. So not the not a world-class cinematic experience, but definitely a cool experience nonetheless. Now, I have the Polyan Tracker, which has an FM tuner. So I could go right now, tune into an FM radio station, and listen to whatever's playing. I'm not going to do that because it's probably something copyrighted and I'll get my channel banned. But I took this little dude to the movie, to the drive-in movie, which again uses FM radio to give you its signal, and I tuned my tracker to it. So then I got to sample everything that the movie was playing, which the coolest part, this was an unreleased movie, so I got insider access. Um, not honestly, I didn't sample the movie. It was Godzilla vs. Kong, and a lot of the sounds were just big monkey and that was about it the the theme of the movie theater had like a lot of retro film stuff so i was able to sample a old I, like some sort of organ there was this one little clip where it was just like the world's first electronic instrument here is the sound of the future and it was super cool because I could sample it because it was also playing through the FM radio. So immediately when I'm starting to hear like the world's first electronic instrument, I'm like, bro, I gotta sample this. This is gonna be the coolest thing in the world. And so whipped out my polyand, got the sample loaded, and so we'll give it a listen. Most of the samples, aside from the drums, were actually taken from the movie theater. Um, I think anything that isn't drums was done at the theater. So. Let's give these things a listen. So this was the uh, organ that I managed to get. And just like the slices you can get um, are were amazing. So I just recorded a bunch of audio and what you can do with the tracker is you can slice up the audio um, and play it on the little pads here. You don't have to use the pads. They're kind of small and they're not really fun to perform with, uh, but they're good for pure previewing. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. So you can actually use an effect, and so you can have control of both the pitch and the sample playing, which is super cool. Um, but that also takes up one of your effect slots because you only have two. So I don't like using up the effect slots if I don't have to. I really like having that freedom of movement. Um, so I'll just use the sample slicer um, in, in the beat slice way to actually get the samples in that like MPC style chopping. And so um, it's been a while and I actually got this little groove going. And I just love it because it's just, it's just got, it's that perfect sample chop, hip hop type of like lo-fi. I don't even know what you'd call it. The fact that it was recorded off the radio just adds to that lo-fi aesthetic. So we out here, we making lo-fi on the Polyan Tracker and it sounds lit. Um, one of the things that I managed to get a sample of was from the movie and I didn't really like it. Podcast episode number five. It, I, I like how it sounds because it adds like a nice vocal bit, but it just, it just sounded too busy to me. So I've gone and muted that track. I haven't deleted it, 
So I'll have both versions available to listen to. Also, something I wanted to bring up, uh, join my Discord server. Links in the description, links at the end of the video. Um, I have lots of people who do music there. And one of my favorite things is the collaboration. Uh, I posted a beat there once that I was just like, hey, here's something I did, I just threw it together. And like three people were just like, bro, let me sing over this. And I'm like, go for it. So I'll post a lot of random crap I'll make on my Discord server and yeah, feel free to use it how you like, whatever you like, share the things you make. Um, I want to harbor a community of furry musicians, um, and if you're not a furry, you're welcome to join, but there's a lot of furries there, so yeah. So enough about that, join my Discord, links in the description. So I didn't actually spend really any time in the studio building it, because this thing can be battery powered with a little USB port, which is absolutely amazing. So what I ended up doing was I would work on this on like breaks and lunches at work. And anytime I had some downtime, it was super easy, plug in an earbud, plug in the power, go to town. Didn't need anything else and it's really small. So it's not like bringing the force around, which I have also made portable, but the tracker, I can just toss it in a bag without even thinking twice. And it's such a good production studio. So definitely, again, recommend the tracker. If you want to get into music production and only want to buy one piece of hardware, the tracker is definitely a good avenue to go. Something, something I didn't bring up, however. Um, so the big horns you're hearing is actually uh, pitched. Yeah. And I, I just, it just, it's so good. I can't remember where I got that sample, but it, again, it was from all these previews that they did from all this like retro cinema stuff. My last tracker video did absolutely amazing. It had like 900 views, 11 dislikes and two haters. That was like, honestly, that's what life's about. Dude, it was the funniest thing. I, I've made videos about equipment before. I've made a video about the Force, I've made a video about the MPX-8, and I've made a video about something else, I think. Flip Sampler. And I haven't gotten a single person talking crap about it. And what's funny is a lot of the producers will just completely ignore that I'm dressed up like a dog. Like, just totally not care. Um, read the comments for the MPX-8 video. Um, even, heck, search MPX-8. I mean, if you're just subscribed to me, that's kind of uh, biased. But um, the MPX-8 video, when searched on a fresh account, literally is like one of the top results when you search for the Akai MPX-8. So a lot of people who are interested in that will see my video and they're happy to ask questions and I'm happy to answer them. So if you have any questions about the Polyend or the Force or the MPX-8 or anything that I've done a review for or anything that I haven't even, if you've just seen it in the background and you have a question about it, go for it. I want to make better music. I want to make it so that it's easier and more accessible. I want to be able to be helpful. I love interaction. Boosting engagement's a good thing. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it was hilarious because the Polyan video had the most haters. Had a lot of hate. It had a lot of dislikes. And I'm assuming it's not because I did a bad job. The intro to the Polyan video is honestly one of my best starts to a video. It just, oh my god, I, not to simp for myself too hard, but oh, I love it so much. It's such a good video. But I think people were just like, whoa, furry, icky, ew. And so they like talked a bunch of shit about it. And it's just like, why? Why do you care? Like, if you're, like, it, it's funny too, because it's not a secret. It's in the thumbnail. My furry face is in every thumbnail. I don't make it a secret. So it's just really funny that these people clicked on the video and then were just like, oh, it's a furry and talked a bunch of crap about it for literally no reason. Like, thanks for the engagement, I guess. But yeah, 
all of you have been super, super welcoming to me. I love the fact that the, all the producers who watch my content are actually engaged and aren't like just like, oh, icky furry, can't be seen watching this. Um, and then, of course, the furries that watch my content are also the most friendly people. Y'all have been aces to me. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, so yeah, that's the video. I'm gonna go ahead and play the whole song for you. This was the first time I actually used the polyand in its song mode. Um, and sequencing songs is a little tricky. I actually like it better than the arranger on the force because the force arrangement is janky. I'll just say that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I do have a Patreon, so if you would like to support me and what I do, links in the description as always. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!